In this video, we'll prove this theorem. I'm going to start with an inner product space, so that means V is a vector space, this is an inner product, and I'm going to have a subspace, W of V. Um, we want to look at the orthogonal complement, that's the set of vectors that are perpendicular to everything in W. I claim that that forms another subspace of V, and that the only element that W and W perp have in common is the zero of the vector space. So I'm going to prove this. So to prove that W perp is a subspace, I need to prove the three properties. I need to prove that zero is in it. I need to prove that it's closed under addition and closed under scalar multiplication. So let me remind you of the definition that's going to be helpful in our proof. So it's the set of all V and V, so that any W dotted with V gives you zero. All right, so let's prove the three properties. So first, um, I need 0 of V in W perp. So I need to check this condition for the 0 element of V. So I need to take any W in W. Um, I'm going to look at 0 V W. Um, I'm going to play the same trick we have a few times. 0 is 0 times 0 V. And so because it's an inner product, I can factor out real numbers. So that's why I've introduced that 0. And then I get 0 times some real number. That has to be 0. Alright, so whatever W I put here, 0 dot W will give you 0. And so that means that my zero fits this condition, so it's in W part. Second condition, close under um, addition of vectors, so take V1, V2 in W prep, we need that V1 plus V2 is in W prep as well. So I need to consider this condition for V1 plus V2, but I need to assume, I can assume because we've assumed that V1 and V2 were in W prep, that this is true for V1 and this is true again for V2. So I'm going to take W to be in W. And now I need to look at whether this quantity here, this condition for V equals V1 plus V2, whether it is zero. All right, so we know that in inner products, we can split over sums. So I'm going to get V1 W plus V2 W. Now, V1 is in W perp, that means it's perpendicular to everything in W. So this is going to be 0. And V2 is in W perp, so the next one is 0 as well. And so I get 0 plus 0, I get 0. So this condition, this condition is true for V1 plus V2. That means V1 plus V2 is in W. Alright, so that's true. I'm not assuming anything about W except that it's in big W. And so it's true for every element of W. That's what we need.
All right, so that's close under addition. Now I'm gonna prove that it's close under scalar multiplication. So I'm gonna take V1 in W perp, and I'm gonna take a real number K. We need to show that KV1 is in W perp. So again, I need to check the condition on KV1. So it's going to start the same way. I'm going to take any W and W, and I'm going to check whether my element that I want in W perp, whether it's perpendicular to W. So let W be in W, then I'm going to look at KV1, W. Again, because it's an inner product, scalar multiples can factor out. Now, since V1's in W perp, it's perpendicular to this W, so I get K0, and then that's 0. And so KV1 is in W. Alright, so we proved all three properties, and that means that W perp is a subspace of V. So that proved the first part of the theorem. Um, the second one was a B of 2. Uh, B asked to show the W intersect W prep is the zero vector. Well, first thing. Since we know that subspaces contain zero, that means that zero is in W. We just proved it as well for W perp. And so zero is in both, which means that zero is in the intersection. All right, so we proved that this side is included in that side. And now we prove the opposite direction. I'm going to take an element here and prove that it has to be zero. So take V um, in W intersection W perp. Alright, so we need to prove that V is the zero element of V. Alright, so here this is a bit tricky. I'm going to use the fact that V is in W perp to say it's perpendicular to anything in W. So V is in W perp. That means for any W in W, VW is zero. But now V is also in W. So this W here, I'm allowed to use any element of W, I can use V. So that means VV, which is the length of V, well, VV is zero, and by the fourth property of inner products, V 
the only way a vector dot itself is zero is if the vector is the zero element of the vector space. And so yes, W intersect W prep is just the zero vector. point we know W perp is the step space that means I'll be able to ask you for a basis for it and we know they intersect in only zero uh, we saw that in the two examples we did last uh, video as well and um, one thing we'll prove in the upcoming weeks is that actually these not only intersect only in zero but if you add them you get all of V and so these um, form some sort of direct decomposition of V